consultations and I discovered, okay, it's something I can do. And at the long run, still be grateful I did it. Yeah. So if Nello is saying um, people make money by talking about her, to me, I'm not going to be triggered. You know I'm not going to be triggered? That's because that money, I worked for it. Mm, I did not go to her account and go and pick out the money. I worked for it. I stayed up at night to watch her videos to get content out of it. So when I see people say, "Oh, I am feeding you. You are, you are, you are, you are anybody by talking about me," I will not look there. They laugh. Now me, they will feed you. Let's think about it that way. I'm the one feeding you, because. When I talk about you as a reactor, people from my channel go to watch you. And from there, I'm giving you more views. I'm giving you more revenue. Then talk more of when every reactor is talking about you. More views for you, more revenue, more brand deals. So why don't you see it this way that it is even the reactors that are feeding the big YouTubers? Why don't you see it that way? Instead of you seeing it that it's the big YouTubers that are feeding the reactors. <laughs> that's what these big youtubers want you to believe as a reactor that they are feeding you that because of you talk about them that's why you're earning money but see it this way that you are the one feeding them you talk about them that is why they get more views that is why they get more brand deals so who is feeding each other in this a particular thing it is you because by the time you talk about them they earn like let's say hundred dollars from one video or let's say a thousand dollars of a brand deal and when you talk about them how much are you earning as a reactor so why should you be triggered at Nelo said oh she does if he put food on your table i'm putting food on your table the same way you are putting food on my table so two of us we are using ourselves yes same thing with, the, with our viewers our viewers are gaining from us we also gaining from our viewers all the videos you see me, I download, I put, I put in my videos. Do you know that it's, it's data I'm using to download them? It's data. So I put in that effort. You come to watch me because, oh, you want to hear gist. You want to hear my reaction. I have satisfied your curiosity of you wanting to hear gist, of you wanting to know what went on in somebody's life. I have satisfied that need. Sorry, satisfy that need. And you too, you also to satisfy my own need by watching my video, watching my ads, and I'm earning money from it. So look at it that way. The big YouTubers are using us. We are using the big YouTubers. Our viewers are using us. We are using our viewers. So nobody's losing in this food chain. We are all using each other. And we are all gaining from each other. And we are all enjoying the process. It's when you start thinking in that, oh, Big YouTuber said they are feeding me. I said I will just start laughing. There was a time when the Toya said it then. I was just laughing. I said, Chai, I wish I was a reactor. I will tell you what baby say. You go enter his house. Nobody is feeding each other in this YouTube. We are all feeding ourselves. If we say we will stop talking about these YouTubers, they will come and look for the reaction by themselves. That's why when you just forget them, they will start putting reactors on the thumbnail because they know the power of publicity so if you're a reactor and you're feeling bad that oh somebody said you have they are feeding you my sister look at it this way you are also feeding them in fact you are even giving them more food than the food they are giving you so that one aside the Lord now said um uh, because of you know she posted a house out there that you know some people will be saying oh you're supposed to you know hide your blessing you're supposed to do this hide your family and she said oh her life is out there on youtube so she cannot hide it she cannot say oh because she does not want people to attack her spiritually or physically she will not hide her good news so she has to put the good news out there and it's also part of her content for me in the low kk i understand that part of you but for people like me that you know i don't have enough thick skin to i have thick skin if you like you come for me like you know you insult me in my in my channel i don't even remember insult to self but like if you come for me my personality as a person ah uh, uh, mm -hmm, i will chop you like a raw meat but, you know, when you start involving family, when I say family, family that you have never seen to get to me. And the question is, how will you even see them if I have not brought them to you? Maybe, maybe when, I, when I now have enough thick skin, you know, I can now start bringing everybody, papa, mama, brother, sister. But for now, I beg, 
Look at they do my reaction and my cooking videos. They work out they go. It's not because of how many dollars I'll not come and display my family on social <laughs> on social media. I'm not ready. And I don't even do vlogs. Except I decide to start doing vlogs later. Even when I decide to start doing vlogs later, they'll be very limited. Because I'm not ready for una bad belly. <laughs> and I also noticed that there is this um protection you get when you hide some certain things. Have you noticed that? That week, you post your husband's birthday or you post your husband's picture on your WhatsApp status. That is the week you and your husband will quarrel the most. Have you noticed it? That week, you celebrate your child's birthday or you're always posting your child. Is that week your child will be falling sick? Will be having kata? Will be having cough? Have you not noticed it? Uh, that's why some of us, for now, that we are not yet ready for social media presence for our family. We keep it in the private part. Not be say we no one celebrate though. We get plenty things to celebrate, like me now. Ah, plenty things to celebrate. But mm, for now, let it be in the private part, okay? Princess Jokoko now asks Nelo Keke, okay, what is the illegal thing she has done? And I said, life. And I said, Jokoko, do you want to spoil Nelo's political career? <laughs> I'm glad Nelo was smart not to answer that question because, in as much as Jokoko was asking that question from an open place, or more, that question a trap, oh, <laughs> may not go spoil the gay <laughs> political career. <laughs> Before you know it, when she will come out for House of Rep, they will not bring it out. The illegal thing. Nello did in 2023. <laughs> guys, let's move to Nezerville. Yeah. So, guys, you remember the video we did for Nezerville yesterday? Yeah, we are talking about um Nezerville relocation to Canada. And I saw those comments and I wanted to include it in that video, but I'm like, mm -mm. the video will be too cumbersome. Let me, you know, leave it for subsequent videos. We are a commenter accused, accused of Nezerville of lying. That she got a band line in our IELTS exams. And I was like, somebody is telling you their personal experience. You're saying she's lying. Don't worry, you'll be seeing that comment. I'll be reading it out to you. And will answer the person in a very, very good way. And I'll also be telling you that it is very possible that Nezevu got, got a band line in our IELTS exams. First of all, Nezevu has a good command of English language. Let's now put IELTS uh, by the side. And she's a lawyer, barrister. Neze. You all know that before you can become a barrister, you need to pass English language. Not just English language, um, proper, proper English language. You need to do well there. Except now they have watered, uh, you know, becoming a barrister in Nigeria. Oh, I'm not sure of that one. Mm -hmm. Number two, looking at her educational background and... Um, Physical background. Does that lady sound like an illiterate to you? Someone like Neze does not even need IELTS exams. But you all know that before you can pass IELTS exams, it's not by, oh, I submit speak English. It is when you write the, the test and you, you know, come out well. They will not know that, okay, I submit speak English. Now, this is the question. The person said, which IELTS did you write? Professional or academic? Again, I don't believe you got nine over nine. It simply means you had nine in each of the bands. My thoughts, you lied there. Please edit that one out. I don't know if it is backyard people used to watch video or frontyard. When Neze did that video, she was very, very, very specific. In fact, let me put the audio there. I'm coming. I went for my results and voila! I got a band nine, like I smashed everything in my first season. I got a band nine, which is like the highest band, the best results. So that was done. I was so happy that I didn't have to go and start writing because some people have written that test four or five times. So that's what is hooking them in Nigeria. So after I wrote mine, it's motivated my husband. You heard that from Nezet directly. She did not say she got nine over nine. She said she got band nine in all the levels. I don't know, some of you will not have a clear uh, understanding of something. You will just go to the person's channel and start calling the person a liar. Even without IELTSF, she sabi speak English. It gets some kind of people will go say they get nine over nine. I may go even do the action say it's a lie. <laughs> I'm gonna do the action say it's a lie. You cannot get nine over nine. You cannot. My hobby has written IELTS, so I, I know what is involved. I know. Now, I even had to go to Google to get the definition of 
you know, you having band 9 in your English exams. And I'll be reading that soon. So please, it's very, very wrong to you just go to the channel and say, oh, the person is lying. You, I'm sure that person did not even watch that video well. I didn't just say, oh, you're lying. Except there's something me I'm not getting. Oh. So feel free to tell me in the comment section. I said there's something me I'm not getting right because I don't really understand. She replied, lol, your thoughts supersede my reality. Your ignorance and arrogance is loud. Yes. You just come to my channel and say, no, you did not get, you did not get banned. Nah, you, you are lying. Eh? You know, follow, I go write the exam, oh. You just sat down on YouTube, watched her and said, no, you didn't get banned. Nah. Ha. Okay, let's read this uh, Google definition of you having band 9 in your, you know, English exams. Now, it says, band 9 IELTS describes people who get band 9 as expert users. This means you have complete command of the language and use of it with complete accuracy and fluency. Very few people get to this level. And in fact, most learners do not, do not need to get to this level. So that means she even superseded what was even needed. And you just come out and say, oh, she's lying. And they being, oh, before, before, she don't even do fluent for the English language. I would say, okay, this one is lying. But with her command of English already and just few tests, she will definitely, you know, smash everything. Someone that's a barrister, not, not just barrister for mouth, but with the way she talks. Don't you watch her this channel? That woman is not an illiterate now, eh? He gets some people when go say they get bad night. Now me go do reaction say it's a lie. <laughs> Not there's a view. There are other things she can say. I'll be like, mm, Neze, this one you like. But for this, ah, uh, you know, English exams, I totally believe her. But leave your own thoughts in the comment section. Do well to like. Do well to subscribe. I will see you in my next video, my lovely people. Bye.